Good afternoon, sir. Good day, Stella. How may I help you? Sir, sir, can I sit down? Sit for what? Go ahead and state your mission. As you can see, I am very busy. Sir, I'm surprised that I failed your course. Despite the fact I put in my best. So how is that my fault? Am I responsible for your failure? But this is unfair. It's not fair, Stella. You know, the Bible says, an eye for an eye. But you refuse to give me this. So I also choose to keep my scars to myself. But you know I'm a married woman with kids. Cut that crap. What's this talk about marriage these days? Or do you think you are the only married lady in my postgraduate class? But you know it's not right. We are both married and should protect the sanctity of our marriage. Oh, okay. Fine. You can keep on protecting the sanctity of your marriage while I keep protecting the sanctity of my scores. <laughs> so what, what will I do? Cooperate like others. And then you have whatever you want. Otherwise, you remain where you are as long as I remain your supervisor. So I won't be able to pass your course or defend my thesis unless you sleep with me, Dr. Benson. You heard me loud and clear. Never! Never, Dr. Benson Amadi, never! I would rather repeat this course than let you see my underwears. We shall see. Get out this minute. Foolish woman. I have a word with you. Go ahead. It's my supervisor. What about him? He has been on my neck for quite some time now. On your neck for what? Are you owing him? No. He wants to sleep with me. What? He failed me his course because I refused to give in to his illicit demand. This is unbelievable. Are such things still happening in our universities these days? Yes. He sleeps with most of my classmates just to pass them. I refused because I was so sure I could pass the courses. Moreover, I couldn't cheat on you. Well, so what now? How do we handle this Randy lecturer? I decided to petition the university authority, calling for review of my answer script. What if they don't grant your petition? Then we'll have to sue them. You think it's a wise idea? Yes, of course. But it has to be our last resort. That mm. is why I decided to tell you what's going on. Okay. And I love you, right? I'm sorry. You know, I stand by you. Yeah. Anything you say to do, I'm here for you, okay? Thank you so much. I love you, babe. Have you gotten the letter? Yes, but it doesn't look good. What does it say? The Senate didn't approve my petition. I told you, they're the same corrupt set of people. Yes, most of them are like Dr. Benson. 
What do we do now? I think we should head to the court. Mm. Let's go and see my lawyer. Where they come? you wrote against me where you were trying to implicate me for sexual harassment you see how the audacity to sue the university yes and how is that a source of worry to you dr benson and you think you succeed in court why not do you think the court is like the senate where you manipulate at will i'll block you in court the same way i block your petition at the senate oh you were just daydreaming dr benson as you can see, I am not like one of those lousy students of yours who succumb to your amorous demands due to ignorance. I know my rights, and I will never allow a promised cause mongrel like you take advantage of me just because you happen to be my lecturer. Watch your tongue, you woman. watch your pants, Mr. Randy Lecturer, because it's about to ruin you. You get nothing from me because I'm proceeding for my study leave overseas next week. <laughs> if you like, proceed on study leave to the moon. I don't care. The long arm of the law will catch up with you everywhere you go. You think so? Wait and see. By the time I am through with you, you won't dare take advantage of women in your class ever again. God. Suit number HC zero five seven twenty twenty one Stella Duru. Stella Duru, and University of Science and Technology, and Dr. Benson Amadi, Dr. Benson Amadi, parties present. Today, the court is delivering judgment in the suit between Stella Duru and University of Science and Technology and Dr. Benson Amadi. Upon going through the entire court proceedings together with the SB standard during the hearing of this matter, and after hearing the submission of counsel on both sides, I hereby find as follows. One. The plaintiff brought an application against the defendants for arbitrarily withdrawing her from the master's program on allegation of poor performance without complying with the school prospectus, granting the plaintiff access to her resource and without according her fair hearing when she petitioned the school for access to her resource and on victimization by the second defendant, who was the plaintiff's supervisor and who had allegedly frustrated and stopped the plaintiff from participating in her final defense. Two, the first and second defendants, led by N.O. Ajunwa Esquire of N.O. Ajunwa and Co., argued that the plaintiff had failed to meet the academic requirements of the school and the court could not meddle in the domestic affairs of the school by acceding to the plaintiff's application for the answer scripts. 
Ross calls and marking schemes to be tendered before the court. The court held that where an institution fails to comply with the rules of fair hearing, it is the duty of court to fill the void. Number three, the application of the second defendant to be struck out as party in the suit was rejected by this court. However, the second defendant failed to enter defense on the orders of this court and failed to lead any evidence. Number four, the defendant did not prove that the plaintiff had failed having sat for final exams and written the last chapter of her thesis. The first defendant did not accord the plaintiff fair hearing when the plaintiff presented her petition. The act of the second defendant, who obviously lacked the qualification to supervise the plaintiff, frustrated her and was the fulcrum that set the chain of causation of violations. It is unfortunate that the second defendant, having mitigated the plaintiff's career, proceeded for study leave abroad and cited that as reason why he could not file his defense. Five, based on the foregoing, I find merit in the plaintiff's claim and hereby order that one, the first defendant paid the plaintiff the sum of 100,000 naira only in general and exemplary damages. Two, the second defendant paid the plaintiff the sum of 5 million naira only in general and exemplary damages. Three, the first defendant reinstates the plaintiff change her supervisor, and ensure the final defense of her thesis is done within a reasonable time. Four, the first and second defendants pay the damages into the plaintiff's account before taking any further legal steps this judgment. Five, the court shall award no further cost against the first and second defendants. The court will rise. Court. Sex for Marx is the cancer of our higher institutions. We may kill it now, or it kills the system. Aside its decadence, it creates a system built on quackery. And let me ask you, how do you feel to be attended by a doctor whose grades were obtained by such medium? The effects on the victims are damaging, while the long-term consequence on the society is humongous. Do you know the law permits you to deal with such lecturer whose pant can't be zipped up? Oh, yes. As Mrs. Stella Duru dealt with Dr. Benson Amadi, you too can. The Sexual Harassment Law 2020 makes this even more easy. By the new law, any lecturer that sleeps with a student whose age is less than 18 years has committed this offense, even where such person consents. The law goes further to state that any form of sexual intercourse with a student is on itself an offense with or without the consent because such consent was obtained where the lecturer has higher authority over the student. In case you didn't know, know it now for free. The punishment for such amoral relationship with a student is 21 years in prison. Be warned. My name is Kanayo O. Kanayo Esquire and this is the People's Lawyer. Thanks for watching. Aha. Get yourself a lawyer. You say you know neither. Now you don't complicate the matter. You don't implicate yourself. No be grad, no be fight. Lawyer go help you know your right. Teach me 
guide the law. It go guide me. Got to rise up. Got to seek the dano. Judge you, judge the matter. Somebody at your bank. Because our justice we define. Which is justice all the time. Nobody is above the law. Nobody is above the matter. Nobody is above the <laughs> Magana justice kind 